player. That is an enormous loss for a football team. We have proof that the Packers are able to overcome playing a game without Devontae because of all their pieces and because of their big fellas up front and because of their quarterback. We have no proof that this defense can still be the best defense in football without J.J. Watt. Well, then I'm, I'm just talking about, as a, listen, yes, we know about the stat of, of 6 0, but I'm talking as it relates to going up against this Arizona Cardinals defense and how good they have been. Taking away, uh, taking away Aaron Rodgers' number one threat, again, that's going to be huge going up against this defense because the secondary is playing some pretty good football. And yes, JJ Watt coming out, not being available, is definitely going to affect them as far as pass rushing capability. But I, again, I'm going to say it again. Devontae Adams, having, not having Devontae Adams against this Arizona Cardinals defense, I think it's going to make them a little bit more one-dimensional uh, as far as the Green Bay Packers. We're going to see more of those two, you know, being reliant on those two backs in the backfield. And let's see if the Arizona, let's see if the Arizona Cardinals can figure that out. Now, guys, you know, certainly both teams are coming into this matchup weaker, significantly so, with big losses um, as far as who's available on their roster. But it's even more responsibility on the leadership of the quarterback. So as we look to Aaron Rodgers and Kyler Murray, who's the more dangerous quarterback? <laughs> Dan, oh, Dan, you like this one. All right, I'll start with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, right, this, uh, I mean, this is, you can't be right and you can't be wrong on this answer. I still say Aaron Rodgers. I think that Aaron Rodgers is one of those rare players. I think he's one of the rare quarterbacks in the history of the NFL that is a three-way guy. He could beat you with his mind, he could beat you with his arms, and he could beat you with his legs. And I know Kyler is emerging into that, and Kyler's a better scrambler, so to speak, or a better creator with his feet. But I've seen Aaron Rodgers time and time again make the inexplainable throw. You know, we, we think of the throw against San Francisco where he lofts it over Fred Warner to Devontae Adams for essentially to get, him, get them into field goal range to win that football game. I remember the throw against the Cincinnati Bengals to Randall Cobb on the in route while he's get, his hand is getting hit and making that ridiculous throw. I think of danger is, all right, what guy can harm me more? Like, what guy can hurt my football team more? And again, Kyler is special, but I look at Aaron Rodgers as a guy that I've watched on a continuous basis hurt teams, no matter how teams have tried to minimize his impact or take away his ability to, okay, we're going to keep him in the pocket. He cuts you up. Uh, we're we're going to force him one way in the football field. He's good enough throwing in full speed scrambles to the right or the left. We're going to force him to play patient football. He does that. I look at Aaron Rodgers as the most dangerous quarterback probably that I've ever seen in my life because he could beat you in th th those three different ways. Yeah, listen, Dan, I, I agree with what you, what you said right off the top that, you know, it, it's, this, is, this is close when you're talking about which, which quarterback is more dangerous. I'm going to go with Kyler Murray. And, uh, you know, when I look at what they have going on, what Cliff, Cliff Kingsbury has going on in Arizona with their air raid offense, how they're able to spread people out with all the playmakers that, that they have. I think what Kyler Murray brings to the table is, uh, is different than almost any quarterback in the National Football League because a lot of times when you have a guy that's like a Tasmanian devil as far as running the football, like, he, like he's like this dude is just so hard to contain in the pocket. But what makes him special is the, the accuracy that he can throw off platform. It's rare that you see guys with his athleticism and be able to make the touch passes, the touch throws that Kyler Murray is able to make. And when you're in the offense, again, the spread offense with all the playmakers that they have, you know, D, you know, D Hop and, you know, and A.J. Green and all those guys, you know, Chris, Christian yep. Kirk and company, Rondell Moore, it stresses the defense so much because now you got to account for the quarterback. D Dan, you know this in pro football, sure. man. When you got a quarterback that can beat you both with his leg and his arm, it, is, it puts so much stress on the, the opposing defense. And I think that's where the Arizona Cardinals is really just taking that next step because I think Kyle, Kyler Murray, not only is he a tremendous athlete, but the way he throws the football is almost unparalleled to anything we've seen so far. If this game comes down to the fourth quarter, two minutes left, who are you more scared who had the ball? If Green Bay gets the ball, Arizona, who do you have more faith in to go and score a game-winning touchdown? Who are you more scared of? to go and break your soul, well, take your well, heart. Because it's Aaron Rodgers I, I, for me. Well, listen, I think, listen, I think the, the reason that it's an unfair question is because who has a bigger, who has a, uh, a bigger body of work? 
Okay, Aaron. it's easy for us to go with Aaron Rodgers because we've seen what 16 years so of who greatness you, who you more from Aaron of? Rodgers. Right now, okay? today, we've seen, we've seen Aaron Rodgers make those clutch plays time and time again. But that doesn't diminish we saw the what Mary for Kyler. That doesn't diminish what, what Kyler Murray doesn't min, diminish what Kyler Murray is doing. To you. Let me ask you a question: Who's the Who's the MVP? Who's the MVP right now? If you had to pick, Matthew Stafford. Come on, Dan. Come on, Matthew man. Stafford. Over Kyler Murray. Over yeah. Kyler Murray right now. No, I would take no. Matthew Stafford no. over Kyler Murray. No, it's, I answered your question. Answer mine. Who would you be more scared of if tonight's game comes down to 90 seconds on the clock? Who are you more scared of if you're playing against them? Or who do you have more faith in if you're rooting for them? Aaron Rodgers I, with the football or Kyler Murray with the football? I'm going with Kyler Murray because he got the healthy Man, group. He got the healthy, he has the healthy set of wide receivers. That's I, don't, he got the I don't care if I'm wide playing, receivers. I don't care if I'm playing wide receiver. Aaron okay. Rodgers will find a way to get that play. Wood. Four weeks ago against the Cincinnati Bengals, he made a game-winning throw while his hand is getting hit to an in-route on Randall Cobb, and everyone made fun of him and the Packers for trading Randall Cobb because he didn't do anything in Houston last year. Yeah, that's nice. We've seen Kyler Murray make, make throws like that. What are you, what are you saying here, Dan? We ain't what, are you, seen what, are you, what are you saying we, here? We, we haven't seen we a have spectacular not, from Kyler Murray? We is haven't that what you trying to tell throw. me right now? We haven't seen that throw in that moment from Kyler Murray. We haven't. We've seen some really good throws from Kyler Murray. We have not seen the throw that, that Rodgers makes against San Francisco or the front runner's head out of I Kyler think, Murray. I think, I think, again, I'm going to go back. I think the, the question is unfair because you, we're, everybody's seen the big body of work from Aaron Rodgers, so it's easy to lay in that way. But, I'm, again, for me, I'm going with Kyler Murray. All right, guys. All right, guys. Uh, we're we're going to have to have you guys <laughs> simmer down, you Tasmanian Devils. Is that what, see, is that is, what you – Roz, Roz, <laughs> Roz, you see what like happened? You like the Tasmanian Devils. Devil. Roz, like, you, you see like what – Now, I shared a there. locker room with this guy, okay? okay? You see what happens when you start to go get manicures and pedicures, Wood? Oh. You get, you get soft. <laughs> You lose your dog. Oh, See, oh, you, know, well, you, you get soft. You lose now, your now, dog. Now, Dan, you used now, to be Dan, tough guy. Dan knows better. Dan, you, you, now, Dan you, you knows better. You used to be better. a tough guy. Now you're trying to get the manicure, the pedicure, all that stuff. You, you don't used to be because I'm fresh. There's nothing don't wrong hate on me because I'm fresh. Tapping in with your softer side. That's okay as long as the takes are hard, okay? <laughs> <laughs>